And we're live. PKA. I don't know what I expected before I came. Like, you know, you, like I, I'm in Denver right now. And just walking around, I, a, a fr- my cousin, who I'm very good friends with, lives here. And so we ended up ended up staying here so we could hang out with him for a while. He could take us. He's like a hippie, hiker, that kind of guy. Vegan. And, you know, you not one of the vegan. Finally, a guy yeah, who so goes skiing with you when you go in July. Carry on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I, I retard that I am. I was like, yeah, but like. People can't walk around in public and just smoke weed in Denver. Like you have to go somewhere and do it. And like just walking around the first night a few nights ago, I was like, oh my God, like every 30 feet, no lie, 30 feet, there's you just walk through a cloud of skunk. And yeah. this whole city I, I thought at least that if people were smoking walking around in the city, they would be taking little like vape hits and being like, Oh, let me try and ghost it. But no, there are people walking around with like two joints behind both ears <laughs> and ripping one. And it's like, man, this place rocks can you get this a contact from in- that at all like is it yeah no you're out you're outside like you're, every everything's you can smell it but like it, it's blowing away it'd be like hot saying like Denver. you know how you can smell cigarette smoke woody you've never gotten a nicotine buzz off cigarette smoke right i wouldn't think so yeah same think. thing as that yeah like you, you'd have to be like sitting there in a tiny little box you know air tight and then someone just going <sighs> Yeah, like directly into yeah, your face. That over and over. Yeah, that, that would get it done. But yeah, that's it's that's crazy. Like, they they really don't care here. Denver right now nope. is like like cigarettes in New York in the forties. Like it's just <laughs> it's everywhere. But the toughest thing about Denver now is like it's so difficult to get anything done. Like if you, I don't know if you've experienced this, Taylor, but the last time I was there. Like just trying to order a fucking sandwich because every clerk is high. Yeah. Like everyone is high out of their fucking mind. And you're just like, hey, can I get a sandwich? And they're like, yeah, can you get me one? It's like, no, I. (laughs) Dude, there have been two different times on this trip. A sandwich. That sounds real good. Uh, Call back later. I got to take care of something. (laughs) There have have literally been two different times on this trip so far that like, we, it's late at night like we'll go to a bar hang out with my cousin and his friends my, my girlfriend whatever and like i'm i'm baked to shit and they'll come over and be like what do you want and i'll be like oh i'll try this beer that be whatever and like they leave like 10 minutes later i'll be like what the f- are they like brewing all of this fresh for like our table of four people five people and then this is twice in four days they'll come back and be like could you guys remind me again what you all ordered? <laughs> like, dude, I'm high as a kite sitting here at your table, and you can't remember my order? I can tell you the beers we all wanted, so you must be absolutely blessed. I had a, but, hey, I had a hotel a good time. that I tried, I, tried to check in, I tried to check in the hotel last time I was in Denver, and this is like, it's like a nice hotel, and the clerk is high out of her fucking mind. And like, <laughs> I ask her what type my room is, and she says it's a Klex. And I'm like, what what was that word and like it's a back and forth for a while and mm-hmm. so finally i figure out that then she tells me that means club level executive and i was like okay i don't know your staff terms mm-hmm. so i don't know what a, what a clex it like I, I don't know what the shorthand is and then mm-hmm. she's like okay it's club leg, level executive i'm like i still don't know how many beds that is yeah how i'm with you I was, I was like you i hear say club what level is. executive and i think pretty nice i mean it's not a presidential suite you have but a it, picture of it <laughs> it, isn't that club, one all, nice all bed two level, okay all, beds yeah all club level is in uh in a sheridan just means you have access to like the breakfast lounge like that's what club level is and then uh executive uh just just means their king room that's slightly bigger like that's that's what it meant in that hotel anyway but it took me 10 fucking minutes to figure that out because like this woman couldn't understand that i don't know the inside hotel terms you know the worst at that <laughs> Everyone who's ever served in any military, my God, yeah, like it, uh, them with their acronyms. It, what are they doing with the acronyms here? What, like you have to know your audience to some extent, right? You know, I was a computer guy, right? Computer people do acronyms at a level that the, the rivals anybody else, even military guys. Uh, but we do understand the audience, you know. We don't just talk in letters. But military guys will tell you they're about the PCS, which turns out that means move. You can't put that together. 
Who knows what PCS means if you're not serving in the military? Maybe if you take the time to actually say the words and think about it a little bit, maybe we'd win another war sometime in <laughs> oh, this decade or next. <laughs> what's, it been? Hey, dude, yeah, well, what's it been, 50 years since you guys have won one? We're due for a win. We are the New York Yankees on like a 50-year fucking wind drought. 